need to clean up my space. Maybe I should do a chart. It's just stuff everywhere. Hard Rock, Bill Carson, Benzo bags, as far as you can see. Snuffers of this, snuffers of that. Forget about Mercury. HD bottles. Toilet materials. Ugh. That's some dirty dirt. Huh. Maybe I'll save cleaning for another day. Time to put on my chef hat. Be right there. Good afternoon, everybody. Chefy with Chefy Prospecting. I hope everybody's having a great day. Uh, spring's upon us. Time to get out there and uh, do a little prospecting. So, anyhow, um, I am a gold prospecting hobbyist, and I like to tend to do a little bit of pay dirt. And um, I'm a chef by trade, so one of the uh, one of the very very um, well known community members slash uh, gold dealers and pay dirt dealers um, came across some of that Australia pay dirt. And with that Australia pay dirt, Mr. Gold Vlog, Mike from Gold Nugget Sales uh, sent a little a little sample taste of Vegemite. Now, I've had Vegemite before. <clears throat> Not my thing by any means. I think it's kind of an acquired taste. So I was like, well, what can I cook with that? It doesn't, on, on toast, doesn't sound appealing to me. So I was thinking about it, and one of, one of our family favorites is uh, doing some air fryer wings. So I was thinking that malty, salty goodness or quote unquote goodness might uh, might serve well on uh, some chicken wings. Real quick, uh, <clears throat> real real quick technique with chicken wings out of the air fryer. Yes, fried they're the best, hands down. But you got to make sure that the wings are super dry. Um, dust the paper towels and um, season well. And then they need to be dredged in your seasoning and baking powder. Baking powder. The baking powder is going to kind of draw some of the moisture out of the out of that skin, so it gets nice and crispy. So, to all the Vegemite lovers out there, I am not going to take the chance and ruin dinner. <laughs> Still going to try it, but I have this small little pack of wings here, and these will these will be that'll be more for the family. So, being that this is such a small portion of Vegemite and if you've seen any of my videos you know I'm a, I cook in bulk. I went over to the uh, world market I live in Charlotte so pretty much the food any food I really want I can usually get but I went over there and world market was out of Vegemite so I was like well shoot what am I gonna do I can't what is that two wings worth so I went and picked up some Marmite Marmite is basically uh, the British version of the Vegemite. Uh, don't don't take this as gospel, but um, since I think Britain at one point owned Australia, um, they're probably the uh, the pioneers of this yeasty goodness. Much like in the Vegemite, the Marmite the Marmite is just a version of that. Oh, what's that? JP always says you got to chart before you start. So I think I'll be pouring myself a drink after the next little break. So looks like beef base. It looks like a molasses -y beef base. Very, very similar. What I've read, the little I've read about it, this is a concentrated version of this. So again, I want to kind of cook a little bit more in bulk. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to chart get myself a drink. I'm gonna get these wings all dried up with my paper towels, and I'm gonna make a little Vegemite slash Marmite marinade for it. 
and start prepping my wings. I'll be back in a second. All right, guys, I'm back. Uh, dump the, dump my gloves from drying, drying and patting off these wings real good. Um, again, I need to, I need to start. So I'm gonna head over to the fridge of wonder. And in the fridge of wonder, nothing much in the fridge of wonder. My drink. I think it's I think it's fitting. Kinda wanna kinda want a mixed drink. Although I do not own a swizzle stick. I have a spoon to stir my drink. Uh, go check out Can Do. I think they're doing their cottonwood. Uh, they they have their cottonwood tickets on sale right now. And um, go if you guys are anybody any hobby prospectors out there are interested in panning with a bunch of great community members. Um, I know Cottonwood Trails up in Indiana. I know they're doing a they're doing a dig. I believe it's the May 16th, 17th, and 18th. Um, but you can either go stop by Grease Monkey or Candu's uh, one of their streams, and you can find out information about how you can be a part of that. Um, you do need a ticket to enter Freedom Fest, but I'm sure anybody in the community, any of the community members that uh, frequent these shows, like I said, Grease Monkey, Candy Veteran, Benzo Gold, JP, Shoot Brewers Prospecting on Monday nights, they're, they're going to be mentioning this uh, they're going to be mentioned in this dig. So, cheers. Chart before you start. That's good. It's a good mixture, y'all. You guys like uh, you guys like ginger ale? Boylan's is good. Go down there where uh, in the parts where Pinger Prospecting is. Uh, Blenheim's is better. If you can find Blenheim's ginger ale, extra hot, man, that is a beautiful mixer. So I'm going to get you all set up. I'm going to make a quick marinade with this, with this Vegemite slash Marmite. Again, I got my wings. Got my air fryer. After I go and dust these with the baking powder and Marmite slash Vegemite blend. Let them sit for a little while and let some of that moisture draw out. And I'll throw them in the air fryer and I'll show you, show you what I got. After leaving the fridge of wonder, <clears throat> I don't recognize I got a couple of magnets up there. This looks like there's a little bit of room. So I am going to get started. So again, this Vegemite Marmite, salty, yeasty, kind of tastes like a, a soup base, so I'm going to make a marinade. I'm going to try to set you up the best I can. I don't have all that fancy camera stuff. I am by no means a videographer. Is that the right term? But let me, uh, let me see if I can get some elevation on this so you can kind of see what I'm doing. All right, y'all. So I've got my wings right here. You can see that. I'm gonna go in and I am going to go and, I don't know, there's like probably a pound of wings there. So I'm going to go and put maybe a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half of baking powder in there. My tool, again, you're dealing with chicken. Public service announcement where people get sick from the bird than any other type of food poisoning. So, I have it Ooh, mixed around. Now, if I was making these for the fam, I'd do this same process. This is a kind of a little cheat thing. We're a garlic Parmesan family, so it's kind of one of our favorite wings. I like uh, giving it a little a little bit of that, you know, that cheesy saltiness. So after I would put the baking powder on there, I would also hit it with this garlic parmesan seasoning liberally. Is that a word? Liberally. 
Wait, let me see if I can see if I can do that again. After I dump a bunch of this on there, let these wings sit about 15 minutes. They'll go into the air fryer, make sure the air fryer is preheated. 400 degrees, I think, is as high as they go. <clears throat> Not, don't overcrowd it. Throw them in there once it's preheated. Boom, you're gonna have some goodness. So let me get a spoon and I'm gonna get some. Let me get a spoon. I'm gonna get some of this Marmite Vegemite on there and do a little marinade. TV magic, it'll be ready soon. Okay, y'all. So I turned on my air fryer. It's been about 15 minutes or so. Um, I'm going to put on my PPE because I think that these wings are gonna need a little massaging, a little massaging. I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna grab my Vegemite and my Marmite. Make a little marinade. Smells strong. Looks very similar to one another though. This one might, camera's not gonna do anything. This one's a little lighter, maybe a little bit more flowing. Ooh, salty. Might not have needed to go to uh, World Market and picked up this uh, Marmite, but. How do people eat this on toast? doesn't sound appealing to me at all. So, anyhow. It's kind of like a, it's kind of like a molasses thick goo. I'm not really sure if this is going to work. I'm a chef. I'm going to make it work. Alright, so, Marmite, Vegemite, in the bowl. Little touch of vegetable oil, just a touch. Uh, again, after those, after that baking soot, baking powder has done its magic, you kind of want to let it sit. So basically, what I'm doing is I'm just, I'm just this making this uh, this marmite slash veggie a little bit more viscous, so it'll coat better. You know, ideally you want to keep those wings dry, right? So how much how much oil to put in is, is the question, just until it kind of coats the chicken. When I got the uh, the all the all clear, the air fryer is ready. But my marinade is not ready yet. I didn't have my meat sauce together. So, let me go and put a little more of this Marmite in here because I think it needs a little, a little more coatage. A little more volume. See how it's kind of, it's not over the top. A little taste test. Some infused Marmite oil. Don't want to wreck my sticker. Again, you want some gold, gold, uh, gold pater. You can hit the gold blog up. I think he currently still has some of that Aussie, Aussie pater. Beautiful gold in there. So, in with the wings. this again for the next uh, next round. In with the wings. So this Marmite's really heavy, heavy, heavy salt. Yeasty, salty. I'm going to go and just put a little bit of garlic powder in there with it. Kind of help that along. And then I'm just going to kind of massage. Massage these wings with that 
that oil and Vegemite mixture. More, more salt. Again, so just a quick massaging of this. I'm trying to scoop up all that. Not too much left in the pan. In the bowl. Now these wings are really still dry. It's just they have a coating of oil on them. And I mean, anybody that does any kind of cooking in the air fryer knows that. Knows that. You need to you need to kind of put some sort of fat with your with your products, otherwise it's not going to get that crisp on it. So it looks like it kind of took a nice marinade. Ideally, you might want to leave these another 10 minutes, leave them out on a rack, maybe 20 minutes, let them dry a little bit. Maybe that's what I'll do. I want a good product. Here. I doesn't love chicken wings. <clears throat> So again, you want to go. Uh, you want to go and hang out with a great group of people. Make sure you are going to procure your ticket to Freedom Fest. I know those tickets are going really fast. Um, I'm not quite sure what he has left, if he has any left at all. I think it's 50 bucks. It covers your two or two days or three days of camping, uh, all the panning and stuff you'd want to do. I think they're also doing some sort of. Uh, we're going to do some sort of dinner. Um, Saturday night. Again, I'm not the guy for the. I'm not the guy for details. All I know is I got my ticket. So get you your golden ticket. Let me take this the PPE off so I can turn this camera off and not be nasty. And TV magic, you'll see where I'm at. My vessel has been preheated. It's basically a grate with a with another grate underneath. Again, the trick to this is to not overcrowd it, not overload it, and make sure it's hot. So, I'm going to go and put my wings as such. Marmite, Vegemite wings. Air fryer magic. Boom. Boom. Plenty of space, y'all. Let that air kind of go through it. In my experiences with these air fryers, I found that if you try to load the bottom too, it tends to overcrowd it and it doesn't get that that optimal crisp that you're looking for. But I'm gonna go and put this in. I'll cook it for about 12 minutes and then uh, probably flip it over and finish them off. Right. Man, these wings are smelling amazing. These wing tips, all they do is take up space. Great for like chicken broth or something like that. But <clears throat> I like doing, I like getting wings. Shit, is this a fucking half a chicken? Guess that one didn't get through the machine, right? God oh, bless. What do I do with that? But, like I said, good for stock, but these wing tips, all they're doing is taking up real estate in that, uh, in that air fryer. I, I tend to trim off a little of the hanging fat on these. These wings are super dry. So this is family stuff. Those Vegemite wings are cooking up nicely. And I will be back to show you Give you a little uh, sneak peek when it's time to flip them. Be right back. I ran out of my garlic parmesan popcorn seasoning, so a little, a little garlic never hurt. These have already been coated. Fresh garlic. Freaking two pounder, that's gonna take forever. 
So I'll probably size these and kind of put like sizes together so they cook around the same amount of time. But uh, again, cooking's love. Just make sure it's cooked. Don't eat, don't eat rare chicken. So I'm just salting these up now. They got their, they got their uh, baking, baking powder dredge on them. Garlicky. I'm just gonna set these bad boys out and I'm gonna let them dry right at room temperature. A little bit until I'm ready to actually cook them for supper. Uh, I'll probably have to do this in two batches. But the beautiful thing about chefing is you get to you get to go and if you're preparing the dinner, you get to snack along the way. And chart. Let me bring you into this, give you a little sneak peek close up. I haven't flipped these yet, but they are smelling ridiculously good right now. I haven't even had a look, but I got my smell vision going. Oh yeah. Look at it. Those are looking freaking great. Still got a little bit to go. Let's give this another four minutes. See what happens. Bring you back a bit. Now, if y'all notice kitchen workstation is a whole lot more tidy than my gold panning workstation. These wings are about ready to come out. Charts. Spilled veggie might looks like I wet my ass or something like that. Anticipation is killing me. May not have the gold horn that Mike on the Gold Nugget Sales and Gold Block has, but it's pretty damn sexy. Unless you're a vegetarian. All right, I'll be right back for the reveal and the taste. All right, guys. After checking, these chicken wings have hit an internal temperature of 185 degrees Fahrenheit and are ready to go. Hopefully you can hear this. I'm gonna pick this up. Oh yeah. Look at these. They're looking pretty freaking sexy. A little bit of blonde on the bottom. Cause I didn't flip them. I was kind of prepping the other ones. Mm. Now, can I say the the Vegemite and the Marmite came through on this. Not too much. It's got the salt in it. Tastes a little bit yeasty. 
Freaking delicious though. So maybe, just maybe, Vegemite isn't as bad as y'all think. Just gotta know what to do with it. I'll bring you back in a second. And close out. Well, thanks for joining me, everybody, on this uh, this edition of uh, Air Frying with Chef V. I got a little. I got my beautiful chicken wings here, marinated and uh, air fried with a little combination of Vegemite and Marmite. Very, very good. For dessert, I got some Tim Tams, native to Australia, to go along with my Gold Vlog and my after dinner drink. That beautiful gold nugget sales. Australian gold. Let me bring you in real quick. Buttery, lovely, delicious. Hope you guys enjoyed. Get out in the creek.